Hi, let me show you how to create a new project from scratch. Okay, execute project, new project. Okay. Um, I need to find a place to put it here. So I'm going to find a place to put it. Uh, let's make a new folder. Okay. Uh, we're going to put it in here. Okay. Let's make it a uh, uh, new fun thing. So my uh, new project is going to be here in this folder here. New fun thing. All right. Put it in there. And then we'll give it a name. Uh, my project. Okay. You can give it whatever name you want so you can remember what it does. Uh, this is where it is, and that's the name of the project. Save. Okay. This is an important step because, as you can see, there's a lot of microcontrollers out there uh, made by lots of different companies, and they're all very nice. Uh, the one that I have is a Texas Instruments uh, TM4C. And even if you go to TM4C, you see there's a lot of TM4Cs. Uh, but the particular one on the launch pad is a TM4C123 GH6PM. And there's the specifications for it. Okay. Uh, do we want to have this uh, .s file uh, and add it to the project? Yes. That's where the reset vector is and the other interrupt vectors. Yes. Okay. Uh, we can see there's not much here, just that startup file. Okay. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to change the name of my project here and give it um, a new name. Okay, that'll be my name and my project. Fun thing. Okay. Um, now you notice that I don't have any source, don't have any C code. So let's give it. Uh, okay, I'm going to make a new file here. Save as. Okay. So I'm going to make some C files. I'll call this one main.c. Uh, it's got to be a C file. It doesn't really matter what it's called. Uh, I'm going to now type in some programs. Okay, Here it is, a, a program which toggles port F. And then I'm going to add it here. Add new, add existing items to source group. There you go. Add it. Close. Okay, so I'll create all my source codes and add them in here. Uh, if you want, you can change the name of this. If you want to just call it source, call it sources or source, whatever you want to call it. Um, you notice that it was inside of the um, Texas where, uh, but this particular one uses uh, these pre-made definitions. All right, let's go further on. Let's look at more things. So our device, which we did, our target. Um, I'm not going to use the floating point. Okay. Here's my uh, ROM and there's my RAM. Uh, there's the output of my executable. Uh, do you like listing files? Sure, everybody loves their listing files. Uh, there's not much in this one. Uh, this one's interesting here. Uh, when I write in C, I like to use care as sign. And so I'll put that there. Down here, you could add an include path. I had put everything in that one directory. Uh, but if you have your files in other places, you can include them. So I could click here. I can go for a new place. I can find it. And so uh, if you have some files that are in Texasware, for instance, you could add a, um, add a search for it. So it would get included. Um, this is the assembler. Uh, no particular things here. The linker. Um, not much to change there. Now in the debugger, since I have a launch pad, I got to use the um, Stellaris ICDI. And so I can do that. If I'm interested in using the simulator that we used in the class, we could add a dash D. Uh, for DLL, and now I'm going to put in the name of the DLL, Launchpad DLL. 
if you want to use a simulator DLL, okay, one of the new features in Kyle is to allow you to write code which gets executed before the main program. Okay? And so if you have to have code which is executed absolutely first, we could define a function called system init. And this will be called before the main program is called. And so in this case, I don't need any, so I'll just leave it blank. Okay. Uh, you'll also notice that in the startup file, uh, this is different than the ones we used in the class in a sense that the, uh, that the handlers here uh, might have different names. So these are the interrupt service routine handlers. Uh, there's the reset handler up here, initial stack pointer, etc. Okay, so now let's build. All right, uh, I've got the real board debugger up, so I'll download it and we'll debug it. So this program doesn't do much, it just toggles uh, one of the pins. So we'll do peripherals, system viewer, port F. Uh, there's my data, set this up to view periodic mode, and then push the go button, and we can see my, uh, my, my data pins are toggling. All right, one way to see that it's toggling is to set a breakpoint right here, uh, and then uh, step through the code, and we can see that uh, port F, which is now a, a 0x11, uh, gets converted to a 0x13 every time it goes through the loop. Okay, <clears throat> so in this video we showed you how to make a new project from scratch. I, I will have to say that my favorite way to make new projects is to derive it from an old project that I know works. But nevertheless, if you'd like to create a new project, this is how we do it.